Hi everyone, my name is Isabella Sisilawati. I want to excel in Power BI enthusiasts with decades of business experience. In this video, I'd like to show you how we can create a sales waterfall in Excel and then modify the color to red and green. Let me show you how to create a waterfall chart using sales table over here, where we have sales by product, sales for year 2022, year 2023, and the year-on-year -year increase in this third column. The first step of creating a waterfall chart is to structure the data in a user-friendly format. So in this instance, let's have the first year in the first row, link it up to the sales. And then after that, have the year-on-year -year increase underneath that, control C, control V, and then finish with year 2023 sales. Once you have done that, just highlight and then insert waterfall chart. We are almost finished. We have the increase and decrease, but we need to tell Excel that the beginning should be set as total. So just double click and then click set as total and then click the end and click set as total. And voila, that's done. We can modify the chart title, double click it and call it sales waterfall done what if we want to change the color of the waterfall so that increases in sales is green and decreases in sales is red one option is to click the waterfall chart double click the orange bar chart right click and change the fill to red but this is not a good method because what if the sales or the data change what if it becomes 30,000 for example so it's now an increase but look the color is wrong it needs to be then manually changed by clicking it and then right click and changing it to green and that's not nice we don't want to create a waterfall template that is not dynamic that cannot update itself so here is option two go to page layout and then modify the color scheme. Click customize color and then change the blue to green, change the orange to red, and then you can pick a name. I'm going to call it custom one still and then hit save. Now, after you have done that, nothing appears to change. You need to do one more step, which is right click and then click reset to match style and boom. Isn't that awesome? green and red now let's test this if we are changing the sales for 2023 to 30,000 voila it's all green and then let's just try that make it 5,000 so it's now a reduction and you can see that as well if you want you can also modify your color scheme go back to teams and then right click the custom color and hit edit and then let's change the shades of green for example into a different color green and then the red let's change it to pink and then hit save and voila all updated last thing that i want to show you is how we can make this waterfall chart sexier click the y-axis delete click the grid lines delete and look at that so much cleaner and if you want to you can also click and delete the legend because green and red they are self-explanatory green is usually associated with good news and then red is associated with bad news i hope you find this video useful see you next time <music>